Yo, what's up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my 60 card Vanadium deck profile that just finished undefeated at Locals, finished day two at YTS Italy. I literally overslept, I would've been fucking first. You lucky Josh, I would've won, but it's okay, it should've been me. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my list now. What cards will your opponent stop? Your normal summon, right? So how do you stop that? By having 30 extenders. So the deck idea and IQ is next level. My own genius scares me. And by watching this entire video, you might understand the level of genius that goes on into my list. So let's get straight into this. Lots of stuff, you're gonna wanna see this. Before we get started, I wanna give a big shout out to my team, Team Inspire TCG. They got a jersey. And it's just one for the number one player in the world. Also, big shout out to Dueling Guard as well. Check out their products down in the description below. And if you guys want to learn even more about Manadium, I release a five hour recording on how to play Manadium, full masterclass. It'll be in the description. Check out all three links down below. Let's get straight into this 60 card deck profile. It just went 10. I got it. I only lost one game all tournament. I 2 0 everyone else. Five rounds. All right, let's go straight into it. I'm going to win the other regionals too. So. First things first, whether you're playing 40 card mini game or 60, doesn't matter. It literally, it's irrelevant. You need to play these maxed out. Maxed out. This is not a single question whatsoever. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. If you're playing 40, 60, doesn't matter. If you're playing less than this, you're a bozo. This is the equivalent of deciding to play, oh, let me just not play Rhoda in my hero deck. Let me just play two Fenrir instead of three because I have so many starters. It's the stupidest shit I heard in my life. They're all special summons. Max them out. That's not even a remote decision. Next, two vices, three me. Two is all you need for vices because it's searchable by your whole deck. This version plays Perlerino, and you can search it anytime you like. You don't need to play more because of SP, it does become a little bit worse. Three Fenrir, uh, Skag Kashira. Look, you guys want to learn how to play around Joel? Fenrir. I play three right south as well. I'm going to get into the idea behind it why you're playing 60, how to play around Joel, how to do everything. But just keep in mind, these are the normal 18 monsters everyone should be playing. These 18 are not a question. These are not, if you're not playing these, you're doing something incorrect. These 18 must be there that I just mentioned. Now, on to the way to actually play around interruptions. What does your opponent do to play around your interruption? They stop your normal summon, right? Oh, room heart. Oh, I'll use SP Little Knight. Shut up. Doesn't matter. Use your SP Little Knight. Let me just go summon now. Magician Souls. That's right. We're playing four Magician Souls, but it gets much better. What does Soul send? Don't get me wrong. It does not send this illusion to chaos. This illusion of chaos is there for another reason. It sends this bad bitch right here. Let's go, that bell star. That's right. So we go souls, send black witch. And then you go cross sheep Celine. Celine special black witch, black witch effect. And you keep going. So with the three wanted, you play 10 ways into black witch and your opponent cannot stop this. And because what does black witch bring up? It brings up jet Synchron. So what you do typically with this deck is before you even go into the Manadium combo, first or second, you go into some light heart stuff, let them stop, let like light heart first before you special right heart. Let them interrupt this. If they interrupt this, you go black witch, send light heart. Summon another light heart at the extra monster zone. It synergizes perfectly. And especially because the light heart's in the graveyard now, the synchro that no one played in this deck for a very long time is Borlo Savage Dragon. So before you even start playing your 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 whole Manadium combo, you literally special Borlo Savage Dragon with a link. And then you combo. And going second, you put an attack to OTK them. And the biggest thing about this deck is Souls and Black Witch. Never, ever, you never go neg one with these. You always send the free field spells that you get. They're all free. Right Phobia, free. Right Soft, they start with free. Calarium, free. Perlerino, they search, free. They're all free. Just like every single Yu Gi Oh player in the world. Let's go. So they're all get insane value. You never actually go neg one ever. So Souls just says, special this, draw one. Special this, draw two at times for nothing. And extender, extender. Spellcasters allows you to play Selene, allows your dark to go next level. I'm pretty sure in any deck I ever play from now on with Manadium, whether it's 40, 50, or 60, will be some version of Souls in this. And entering Battle Phase with Dark Charmer to crash to search Souls is utterly game-changing because you always have two right phobia, the one you you search both. Souls, to, to be able to draw two in this deck is game over. And the thought process is, oh, you're going to lose to Droll, bro. You always, you have 16 defensive cards in the deck. You're going to draw one or two. And you always end on SP plus defensive card plus if you draw Calarium Baron. So, or or if you draw Room Heart and Meek, like, you're fine. Like, three interruptions plus five cards, you still win. 
due to SP and due to the defensive cards you play. Thanks, Fenrir. Thanks, SP. It makes Fenrir Drill easy, so you're able to play this. And the reason why you play one Illusion of Chaos is when you if you want to side out Blackwood going second, that's an eight card engine. So you remove an eight card engine, but you still play Soul. Like this is the best card in the deck. I'm not kidding. It's free draw twos many times. So you still just keep the one Illusion of Chaos in case you side out the Black Witch. So that way you, you don't need to keep it like the souls in with the Black Witch. And you remove the whole eight engine of Black Witch for eight eight go second board breakers. So it's just uh, uh, insanely good. Lastly, the last monster engine of this deck, this beautiful deck that I love very much, is Bestials. That is right. The Bestials actually synergize incredibly well. You do need to play, like of course, these four. Lubelion's nuts, guys is Regain. Regain just won a YCS. Regain is incredibly powerful. It allows you to play five Astral Louds, not two. It allows you to play four SPs, not one. It allows you to play whatever the, on God's Green Earth you want, and you always recycle the Astral Loud, the SP, whatever you possibly want. And it, more importantly, takes your opponent's SP. Nice loser SP. It'll be a shame if it goes back into the extra deck, and I'm going to draw one. And when this deck draws, it becomes unstoppable. Sorinir. Keep in mind, you're playing Borlone Savage Dragon. Even hard drawing Sorinir allows you to get into regain via Savage Dragon. You go Sorinir, gets uh, Meek, whatever, send Lubelion, Savage, Lubelion, get regain. You just want to regain it up. It's the greatest follow up humanly <coughs> possible ever. And the, the Druid Worm, obviously. Now, another reason why this is extra powerful is you play Droplets and Econ. So, Droplets, Econ, Druid Worm is fucking crazy. It's actually ridiculous. It's triple interruption with the two of them. You go Druid Worm, Banish the Dark, then when you have Econ and Droplet, it's a double interrupt. You stop an interruption, and then Druid Worm gets rid of the monster. Or you take a monster, Druid send a monster. So Econ and Droplet become even more like next level powerful in this version. And the fact that they're level 6, it allows you to go up into Baron very easily. And it's just a minor engine. It's not huge. It's cards that are big attack to enter battle phase, attack SP, just to clear your opponent's interruptions. If Now going second, this plus regain, or the uh, engine here uh, of the simple spoils package, you essentially make a choice going second. You have three wanted and, and, and the simple spoils spell, and you have the seven. You have seven cards for bestials. You have eight, eight for the simple spoil backwards cards. So you make a decision. Will bestials be decent against the deck I face going second? Yes or no? If the answer to that is yes, then you keep the the bestials in going second. Remove the backwards stuff going second. If the answer is no, the Bestials are useless against his Rescue Ace deck. Remove the Bestials. Keep these. Have any deck that plays Black Witch, you keep it in going second. Because Dark could special their Black Witch. Get its effect and keep going. Dark becomes more powerful than Roomheart in this deck. Dark becomes more powerful than Lightheart in this deck going second. Due to in any matchup that has Black Witch. Because not only will you special this. To search with this from your opponent's own Black Witch. But your Dark then crashes to search souls. So your Dark just got you Black Witch, Jet Synchron, and Magician Souls, which is going to draw you two from one Dark Charmer. So keep in mind how powerful that is. And it always lets you go Selene. Those are the monsters. You play 32 monsters. Spells. Look at all these field spells. Max them all out. Right, three rights off. These are the field All We play 10 field spells. Because you want to make sure this is a free. I'm going to... You go right off, add, all right, Black Witch, oh, special Fenrir, send. It's a, they're all free. They're all free summons. And they play around Droll because right off, you add Fenrir. Fenrir is the interruption. All right, Droll and right off, no problem, fam. Special Fenrir, make SP. Set my random droplet or talent to, or econ that I had while talents will be used. It's now five cards versus three. You're fine. And that was their trump card. Get fucked. Your deck sucks. Play Manadium. That's their trump card. I just played in the finals right now. I got Nip Valor. Nip Valor. What is this? 2019? Still ending on full board later. With five cards in hand. It wasn't full board. It was a big board. All right. Ten field spells. More spells coming. Post side deck. Additionally, you remove one of the engines. Diabell Star or Bestials. And then you also you cut one of each of these. And you cut a few spells here and there just to play around Droll. Something like, like keep terraforming, something like this uh, that you want to remove later. We play uh, uh, Rota as well. Uh, yeah, so those are the spells. Next, you want to play three wanted and this. Very, very good. 
Yes. Obviously, two arrival. The only medium card that plays one abscission. Uh, you want to make it as droll proof as possible. Uh, one regain, which is absurd. And then just nine board breakers. But you really play 16 board breakers because right Fenrir is as good of a board breaker as any of these. So you play, where's my right sauce? One of my enemies probably saw it, got cooked by it, and stole it. Just kidding. I do believe I had one more. Guys, I will find it. I'll show you guys how to side deck. There we go. So this is 12, 13 plus 3 Fenrir. So despite the fact that you are playing a 60 card deck. Oh, Triff, what if you brick broke? What am I bricking on? My trophies? Because I'm going to have so many. There's 40 starters. It's impossible to brick. The cards that we're adding in are more engine cards. So that are good, that are great to have. You don't break. Then you're going to say, oh, Triff, you'll never see a, a defensive card. My friend, if I'm not going to see a defensive card, tell me why I have more defensive cards and your deck has starters. Please explain to me. I'm considering Black Witch, even a defensive card, got 2,500 attack going second. The main defensive cards are these. Yes, that's 16. Interruption defensive cards. But going second, these are all 2,500 attack. They are not part of my combo. That so you just summon them. Just enter battle, clear some shit, SP some shit, and then the rest of your deck's all starters and spells and thrusts and talents. You literally don't lose. Like, it's not a coincidence that I 2 owed everyone except the one game I had was losing to skill drain. Who the fuck? And I still almost won that game. Anyways, that's a 60 card deck right there. And you're going to still think, oh, trip. But what happens when I draw a Sinful Spoils, a bunch of defensive cards, and a Bestial? I can't get to Minidium Engine, Triff. Oh my god, Triff, you lie. I didn't lie. I'm a genius. Welcome to Ancient Fairy Dragon. Let's go. That's right. So the entire deck leads to full combo. Even if you draw Bestial and Sinful Spoils package, you simply go into Ancient Fairy. You play 30,000 field spells. Plus, your monsters all search field spells. So, with an Astral Calarium, Ancient Fairy, Pop, add Reich Phobia or Right Sauce, keep going. Add Perlerino, get Reich Phobia again, keep going. And then, on top of that, even if you don't have a field spell, special, we special jet, boom! I'm Retara, baby! So, it doesn't matter, you can still get to it, even with just a Bissy and Simple Spoil, or with your opponent's field spell. Thanks. These are the only synchros we play in our extra deck. We do not play Dispatter or Crimson Dragon. They take up space. We're playing Link Turbo with bit of, of, of synchros. And only two Astro Loud because Regain will, re, will reshuffle everything. These are the only negates you need. Cyber Dragon's broken in Sinful Spoils package. You don't need to play the other synchros. Don't, for sure as fuck, don't play Chaos Angel. Or, or, or what? What's the other one called? The fat card, Chow Fang. Ching. Shanging. Yeah, <laughs> they're all shit. Don't play them. No Dispatter either? No. This, I understand playing Dispatter in Normal Manadium, I understand. But even then, it's debatable to remove. Dispatter, for one, is a shit interruption. It's a maybe negate, a maybe destroy, not both. Buddy, I don't know if you guys noticed. What does this card say? It says do three times what Dispatter does. Then I know you're going to think, oh, but Triff, there's an battle phase. I have six cards in my hand. Please, enter battle phase. They die next turn. Which one are you attacking? This one or SP? There's no answer. And on top of that, oh, Econ? Nice. Now it still resolves. Droplets, etc. This is a link deck, so you minimize the synchros. I was very close to cut Trisakta. Very close. But decided to keep it. B7, perfect. Don't play more. It's a link deck that you play. Two Lightheart, mandatory. Without question. One SP because you can get it back anytime you want. Shadow regain. Cross sheep again. And now the these are the, the ones, right? Now look at this. So going second, you have two Trump Link 2 cards. Two of them. This is game changing entirely. And so is this. They cannot let this resolve with Astro Loud and they cannot let this resolve otherwise. And they don't even know you're searching souls. So many people don't understand. You use the fact to special. They're going to think, oh, Baron de Floor. I think they're out of the gates. Special souls draw to N5 without scales. And then on top of that, Cross Sheep, what? It's going to summon back whatever. This summon back whatever. You go Selene. Selene special back, uh, whether it's special souls. And then after that, go into Apollosa or Axis Code. 
And a typical end board of this deck will be Apoloza, SP, Savage, and Baron. This is the typical end board with some combination of this with your 16, go sack, uh, 16 defensive cards. So it's the, this is your end board. And then keep in mind, oh, if you're considering best deals as well, there's 22. So it's these four plus 20, you're playing 60 cards and you have 22 hand traps per se. So whatever 22 you draw, you draw. And a massive amount of cards in hand. Some, I just overheard super poly. Please, super poly me. Por favor, por favor. Let's say super poly me. Later. Or uh, Apo and Baron. No problem. Later. All right, so we have four cards left. Let's do the math. 60 cards. I have 22 go second. 22 defensive cards. Well, I draw two. Especially after I draw so many times in my combo. All right. Go ahead. I enter battle phase with my dragon. Attack SP. I'll just draw blitz later. Okay. Um, summon Hydrant. Effect. Savage the gate, you lose. It's all good. We win. That's the extra deck. And then the side deck. Three thrust, duster, double lightning swim, double evenly, panker tops. Uh, that's eight, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and even Herald of the Abyss. Because once once Herald of the once Herald of the Abyss is used against the one actual negate. You just obliterate them. This is still fine to play going second. So you side in these 10 every, plus called by, called by or this, depending on what you feel like. Uh, if it's a heavy combo, you can put this. Heavy combo, you won't be able to destroy heavy combo plus draw. But if it's like a sub part, it's a 60 card. You're never drawing this shit, whatever. So some combination of these. And you either remove the 7 bestials or the 8 uh, thing. Uh, yeah. And now going first, you put in always called by for the draw, the 3 thrust. And then whatever is better against that deck, if both are good against them, you put both in, and then you put in the reframing as well. And then uh, Cowboy, because I like gold rare cards, that's about it. It sits there and looks pretty. Is that the real reason? Also, because we're in Texas. Yeah, baby. So that's about it. Guys, thank you for watching the video. I absolutely love this deck. Thank you all. Check out the beautiful products at Dueling Guard. Check out Inspire PCG down description. Check out the Medina Masterclass. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys when I win the next two regionals back to back. See ya!